<laughs> oh, baby. Okay. I like it. Hey, everyone. This is Crimson here. This is going to be my first time doing a playthrough of Fallout New Vegas, and it's also going to be a YouTube exclusive. So I hope you enjoy the playthrough, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying what you're watching. Let's jump over and get into it. Alrighty. Let's get started. I'm excited. This is going to be fantastic. I've never played um, New Vegas. The only Fallout game I've played through has been Fallout 4. Uh, I started that when I started streaming. And I really enjoyed it. Um, had a good time. And a bunch of my friends told me that I should definitely check this one out. I know it's a bit older. But I've heard that the story is way better than than uh, even 4. And I've heard that 3 was even, even better than all of them. So we're going to check out New Vegas. I'm excited. Should be fun. So let's go ahead and get started. Start a new game. I don't... I didn't have an... Oh, it's because I was just checking settings. That's probably why. Alrighty. Well, that's quite a bit different of a start. And four was so nice and, and calm at the beginning. This is uh, a little bit darker. War. War never changes. When atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. Makes sense. Makes sense. And across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam just barely against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House, and his army right. of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier. Hired Sounds crazy. The Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. All right. 
got what you were after. Oh, so we up. were getting, we were the one getting Fine, thrown in there. Rain, Pally. <laughs> Guess who's waking up over here? Okay. The cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig? You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. It's one hell of a way to start. That is one hell of a way to start. Like I said, a little bit more gruesome than freaking four. Well, how four started. Holy crap. All right, caravan pack items added to inventory. Oh, we have all that, all the whatchamacallits turned on. Um, You're awake. We'll see where we actually use that stuff, but. <laughs> Whoa, easy there, easy. You've been out cold a couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? Uh, I guess. Crimson. Yep, that's a good name. That's a good one. Huh. I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. That's a rude. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. This man was I take old. pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. Uh, well, I mean... How'd I do? Oh, we gotta pick our face. Okay, that's what this is. <laughs> I was like, eh, are we beat up? Are we beat up bad? Yeah, I think so we're male. We'll be white. I'm I am very much a, a ginger. We're gonna have to do some changing. Is there more that you can or is that it? Preset faces. Um Man, I guess just number one. Look at that guy's mustache. That's impressive. It's way bigger than mine. Alright. I guess we'll just do this and we'll customize, yeah, a little bit. Probably not as intense customization in this one as uh, the other ones. Oh, Vivi's joining us in the background. Whoa, you can have a thick head. Vivi's all riled up too because we, we just got a bath. <clears throat> so every time after she gets a bath, she just goes crazy. She gets the zoomies. That looks okay. We'll just we'll stick with that. Pretty average. But yeah, she gets the zoomies and just runs and runs and runs and runs. Um, uh, my brow. I know this isn't the most exciting part of the the game, but we gotta make him. I think that's honestly just like. Uh, that looks pretty good. Just standard. Hairstyle. Um, look at that pompadour. Well, we got, we got, um, we got long hair. So let's see. Last back. That might be, that might be good. Punked. Buzz cut. Smooth. Comb over. Bald. Yeah, I think, um, last back's gonna have to do. Works for me. What about, uh, facial hair? Oh, hair color. Pretty red, yeah. A little, a little too red, maybe, but. Let me go back just a bit. Just dial that back. 
Oh, there we go. There, that's pretty good. I have a big old beard. I think survivalist is going to be it. I like... Holy cow, look at that thing. Soul patch. Old coot. Old coot. The Gettysburg. Chopper. I don't know, man. Ladies man, what a mustache. Tough guy. Gallery. Daddy-o! Yeah, I think we're gonna go with... Some of these are pretty freaking good looking, but, but, oh man, look at that, look at that mustache. Yep, yeah, I think we're going to go with the, the very first one, Survivalist, that's a pretty good beard. That's looking pretty good. Is that it? Can we not change our eyes? Our age. Oh. Yeah, we're just going to stay young. We're going to forget that I'm actually 33. That's fine. Well, I got most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Yeah, at least that character customization doesn't take like 20 minutes like Good. any game nowadays. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that bigger tester machine there. Oh, that thing? Slow now. It ain't a race. We are playing on PC. So I'm using a good old mouse keyboard. I've never really... Ooh. Broken SMG. Okay, sorry. Distracted. Ooh, looking good so far. Go ahead and give the bigger tester a try. Oh, this is how we set up our stats. If you got back all your faculties. Try to... I wonder what I want to do. When I played Fallout 4, I was mostly pistols. So... This is strength. This is melee, unarmed, inventory weight, damage weapon. Effectiveness. Hmm. We have five more points, so this is explosive, lockpicks, energy weapons, accuracy, compass, range, endurance. This gives you unarmed, health, resistance, and survival. Charisma is barter, speech, companion, nerve, intelligence, science, repair, medicine, skill points, agility, guns, sneak speed. See, this is probably going to be pretty good. Agility is going to be big. Luck, all skills, critical hits, enemy mishaps. Hmm. I feel like we still have five points that we can put in. I, f man. I feel like intelligence is going to be really good. Charisma is probably going to be good just because talking to people is so important. You know, you miss out on a bunch of stuff if you don't have it. Endurance is kind of eh. I mean, it's always good to have. This is good to have just because I can lockpick and stuff easier. I aim better. And this just does straight up damage. Um, We're probably not going to melee. I feel like I'm going to use pistols a lot, so let's... Let's throw one there. We're going to skip the endurance. Charisma is going to be pretty good. Throw one there. We're going to skip that for now. Two in agility and one in luck. That's how we're going to start. That sounds good to me. Yeah, that's a pretty standard score there, but after what you've been through, I'd say that's great news. Well, we know your vitals are good. All right. But that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nuttered in a bighorn and drop it. Wonder glue? What do you say you take a seat in my couch? A is take all. Okay, that's a little bit different. Ooh, red X, Stimpax. 
Laser pistol, huh? There's a gun over here. Is it broken? Gun is broken, but can possibly be restored to a fully functioning weapon. Oh, so you need repair. Oh, so if he would have went repair, that would have been really good. I wonder if there's um, the same kind of like salvaging in this. I would assume so. Probably not to the level that four was, but maybe a little bit. And like what Fallout's about, yeah. I really love the Elder Scrolls games, and I've played through those. Love them so much. Um, how do I? Can I crouch? Is there a button for crouch? Action mapping. Um. Jump. There's no crouching? Is that right? Left control is sneak. Huh. It's not letting me. Maybe we're not there yet. All right. I'm going to say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. Bees. Shelter. Night. Um. Sleep. Bandit. Swiss cheese. Um. Brush. Um. Light. Light. Dark. Mother. Cookie jar. Caretaker. Okay. Now I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. Yeah. I would just disagree with that, yeah? I, ain't I like fighting. On others for Not support. in personal life, but in games I like person fighting. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. No. I'm really not. Disagree. Strongly disagree? Yeah. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. No. That's a strong disagree. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Oh yeah. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. Um it looks like two ants, honestly. Like that's what this this is this is giving me two ants next to each other. Ah angry two headed ant. That's an answer. Alright. Okay. How about this one? That honestly, to me, looks like a giant two-handed mace. <laughs> you just swing that bad boy. Whoop. Um. Other than that, I have no idea. Some piece of space-age technology. This looks like two bears. Two bears giving a high five. A bearded man, a mushroom cloud, light in the darkness, a head on a pillow. Oh. I didn't even think about that. But yeah. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. This is the head. Bearded man. I don't think the bearded man. Head on a pillow. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. I'm guessing you can just change this to whatever you want afterwards, but... Yeah, you can change it to whatever you want. Reset. So... Yeah, we're just gonna choose our own. 
I think that makes more sense. We're gonna go guns. Um, obviously, I love I love the pistols in it, and I loved it in Fallout Four. Um, anyways, so pistol or using like a just like a rifle. Uh, lockpick might be pretty good, and speech is pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's do those. Seems good to me. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Yep. Mm-hmm. Sure do. All all of my family. Just blasted. Oh, this is two traits. Okay, these are sick. While using guns and energy weapons, you fire 20% more quickly, but your shots are less accurate. Could be good. Don't really like that, though. Um, Built to destroy. The flamer that burns twice as bright burns half as long. All weapons have 3% chance to critically hit, but equipment condition decays 15% faster. Claustrophobia. You have fear of enclosed spaces, probably because of the mutants that live there. <laughs> you gain plus one to special attributes when outside, but suffer minus one when indoors. Early bird. Hey, early risers, enjoy a plus two to each of your special attributes from 6 a.m. to 12 p.m. Suffer minus one from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. Okay. That one doesn't. I feel like that could you just wait right yeah you just you just wait for the time to go to the morning and then you get up you get a buff fast shot we looked at four eyes while wearing any type of glasses you have plus one perception good natured you're good natured at heart more prone to solving problems with your mind than violence you gain plus five to barter medicine re repair science and speech but I have minus five to energy weapons Explosive guns, melee weapons. <laughs> no, I'm not good natured. Heavy hands is for melee. Order. You gain plus 25 pounds to your carrying capacity, but suffer minus one to all attributes anytime the weight you're carrying drops below 160. This one might be good. I like to carry a lot of crap on me, so. And I, I really don't like companions in these games. I don't know what it is. But, like, companions just bother me. Mostly because they're glitchy and annoying, and they get in the way, so I don't usually, I don't usually like having them with me. Um, Hot-blooded. When your health drops below 50%, you gain 10% more damage, but also suffer minus 2 to agility and perception. Kamikaze, you have plus 10 action points, but your reckless nature causes you to have minus 2 damage threshold. Logan's loophole. No one's going to put you out to pasture because you're going to stay young and level 30 forever. You'll never again, be, again become addicted to chems and they last twice, twice as long, but after 30, you can kiss experience, perks, and skills goodbye. That would be good if you're doing like a fast run through the game, but I think we're going to try and do as much of this as we can. Like, I'm going to try and look for most of the side quests and stuff. I want to see a lot of this game. Um, especially because it's my first playthrough, so. Loose cannon. From frag grenades to throwing spears, you can throw weapons 30% faster. Skilled. You're skilled but not experienced. You gain plus 5 points to every skill, but suffer minus 10 from experience gained from now on. I don't think that would be that bad. Small frame, due to your small size, you have plus one agility, but you can be crippled easier. Trigger discipline, while using guns and energy weapons, you fire 20% more slowly, but are 20% more accurate. That might be really nice. Wild Wasteland. Unleashes the most bizarre, silly elements of post-apocalyptic America. Not for the faint of heart or serious temperament. So that just makes the game really hard. Is that what that is? The game, the game is like crazy hard. Um, I think skilled could be pretty good.
Um, and maybe we'll go fast shot. I don't know. We are hoarder. Uh, I don't know. Skilled seems pretty good. We're going to take that. Let's go trigger discipline. Let's go slower shooting, but more accurate. I mean, hit more shots. Let's do that. That sounds good. So maybe we can use like a rifle right. or pistols for sure. With me. I'll see you out. So they do. So they land more often. I, why am I like naked? Just a bunch of burnt books. Ooh, bottle caps. Here, these are yours. It was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin. Oh, we did have a pistol. It was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a pip boy. Ooh. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much used to be now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. Okay. I okay. know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. The jumpsuit. Not much my style anyway. Thanks for patching me up, Doc. Uh, don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you, know, you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll. I think. Um. Really quick, we're gonna move myself up here just so I'm not blocking the, the way they're chatting. I think that'll be a good spot for me. Be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. Sweet. But try not to get killed anymore. I wasn't sure where a good spot was going to be for uh, for my face, but I think this will do. This will do just fine. Uh, new Vegas allows you to play in new hardcore mode that greatly increases the challenge of the game. In this mode, stim packs heal over time and cannot mend broken limbs. Right away removes radiation over time. Ammunition has weight and dehydration is a constant concern. This mode is only recommended for advanced players. You may turn hardcore mode on and off at any time in the gameplay menu. But if you activate hardcore mode now and maintain it through the end of the storyline, you will receive a special reward. I'm going to go ahead and not play hardcore mode, seeing as how this is my first time playing. But that sounds kind of cool. And I bet it would be fun for people that uh, enjoy this game a lot. Can I crouch now? Why can I not crouch? Action mapping. Sneak. Hmm. It's so bright. Oh, there we go. It's because we were still inside. Old World Blues. You've gotten a fragmented signal on your pit boy. A coded transmission of some sort with a sad, jazzy undercurrent. That makes your head hurt. As far as you can tell, it appears to be an in invitation to the midnight science fiction feature at the Mojave drive-in. Please arrive early to catch the trailers. Your pit boy has received his oh this is just like all the uh Okay, so that was just all the uh, add-ons and stuff, not the, like the extra quests, DLC stuff. That's what that was. It was just telling me all the, all the DLCs you could do. Cool, cool. Let's see, what is in our inventory? All weapons fall under weapon skill category. This determines how effective a weapon is. Guns, energy weapons, explosives, melee weapons, or unarmed. Compare the small icon below. And to the left of the weapons icon to the icon shown on the Pip-Boy skill menu. Damn DPS. 
This indicates the base damage and damage per second, respectively. Weapons with a low dam have difficult difficulty penetrating armor. If you hit a target's damage threshold, switch to a weapon with a higher damage. Or use that reduces or use ammo that reduces the target's damage threshold. Piercing armor. Strength and skill. Many weapons have a strength and or skill requirement. If your character does not meet the strength or skill requirement for the weapon, its aim will wobble. Or it will attack more slowly if it's a hand-to-hand -hand weapon. Um. BB. You cannot be buffing right now. You cannot be buffing. I'm trying to record stuff. Silly dog. So much attitude. A weapon's condition affects the amount um, of damage it does. At 75% condition or higher, the weapon does maximum damage and only needs to be maintained. A weapon with low condition will do less damage and may jam when reloaded. Repair mod. These options take you to the repair and mod submenus where you may repair damaged equipment or attach modifications respectively. Okay, cool. So we want this on. We're not going to use a bunch of this stuff is um, from the DLC, I think. Weather 10 millimeter pistol. Okay, I think the weather 10 millimeter is what you start with normally because this thing has way more damage. I think we're going to use this. I don't want to. I don't want to be broken at the start, you know. <clears throat> Apparel can consist of many different types of gear, ranging from clothing and armor to sunglasses and hats. Some apparel grants de damage threshold to the wearer. Your DT is the sum of all DT for currently equipped apparel, plus any bonuses from perks or chems. DT is directly subtracted from incoming damage, so a higher DT provides superior protection. Okay. So that's just armor, pretty much. Condition, same thing. If it's below, or if it's above 50%, it provides maximum protection. Light, medium, heavy, medium, heavy apparel will slow characters down when equipped. Repair. This option opens the repair submenu. Okay. Similar to the weapons, no big deal. Aid is all of our healing stuff. Miscellaneous is just junk. And ammo is ammo. Ammunition is used by almost all guns and energy weapons, but it's sometimes used by other weapon types. Basic ammo types have no special effects, but ammo subtypes may increase damage, reduce an enemy's damage threshold, or even decrease an weapon's spread. Effects are listed on the ammo submenu when the ammo is highlighted. Most weapons can use any ammo subtype that starts with the same name as the base ammo. Common subtypes include armor piercing, ignores armor, Hollow Point does much more damage, but easily blocked by armor. Overcharge, used by energy weapons. Slug, used by shotguns. Switch to ammo subtypes, equip them on this menu. Outside of the Bit Boy, press 2 to cycle through the ammo subtypes. Okay. Cool. So we have our weapon equipped. Put on our. Oh, we have our jumpsuit on? Yeah, we have all this other stuff from. Uh, what should we call it? Okay, so tab is that. We got our little pistol. Good stuff. Oh, we're auto running. Okay, that's nice. Um, gun runner's arsenal has been loaded. Oh, that's weird. Why does alt zoom me in? What's um? Is there a sprint button? You can sprint in other things. Ready, sneak, run, left, shift. Your pit boy has picked up a radio broadcast. That's my sprint. Oh, it's just automatic sprint. Okay, unless you change it. Oh, buddy. Okay, F is the same. 
goes in and out. Nice. Let's see. Where the heck do we gotta go? Do we have map? Oh, it's the bottom left. Oh yeah, it's a good thing we moved our camera. Good, perfect. What do we got to do? Tab brings this up. Data. Stats. This shows us all our stuff. Data is quests, yeah? Happy trails. Okay, those are the radio. Oh, this is the quest. The reunion. No, back in the saddle. This is our main quest, correct? Talk to Sunny Smiles in the Prospector Saloon. Alright, we can do that. Let's do that. Is this the Sunny Saloon? Hello. Ah, there it is. The saloon. I've been having a blast. Um, or I had a blast with Skyrim. I just did that. I finished that playthrough not that long ago, so... What can Easy Pete do for you? What can Easy Pete do for me? Do you know anything about the people who attacked me? Why are you called Easy Pete? Was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Bighorners. Sounds like a good life. You were a prospector, like digging for gold and silver? Means I poke through old buildings looking for working tech and such. Some folks just call it salvaging, but never like the term. Okay, that makes sense. The way I see it, salvage means it's broken, near worthless. Me, I look for the good stuff. Guns, cams, spare parts. Good money in it. Did you know anything about the people that attacked me? The one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots, as as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Word of advice, though. If you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. Well, yeah. He shot me in the head, so I wouldn't trust him either. Did you find anything good while prospecting? Nope. Had a pretty good claim once, way out east by the river. But got run off by raiders. Eventually got too old to keep going out. Well, that sucks. What's wrong with the NCR? Don't get me wrong. The NCR's got a lot of decent folk in it. It's just that they make you part of them whether you like it or not. Towns like Good Springs and Prim don't stay independent for long. Not if you've got something the NCR wants. Still, the NCR keeps the Legion away. Okay, what about the Legion? They're slavers, led by a guy named Caesar. Or Kaisor. Not sure how you're supposed to say it. A couple of years ago, they tried to take over Hoover Dam, but the NCR beat them back. The NCR didn't or couldn't finish the job, though. It makes sense the that they're. got its strength back and is getting ready for another round at the dam. My money's still on the NCR winning, but you never know. We've been hearing stories about legionaries on the Nevada side of the river. So keep a gun handy. You don't want to get caught by them. It makes sense that they're fighting over the Hoover Dam because it's actual power that could, you could make run. The dam powers a lot of New Vegas. And then there's all that clean water lying in Lake Mead, too. Anybody who owns the dam owns the territory. Makes sense. What do you use the big corners for? Meat and hide, mostly. Can't put a pack on them. They just lay down until you take it off. Can find a bunch of wild ones high up in the hills, but gotta be careful around them. They can put up a decent fight if cornered. Good to know. Do you know anything about Victor? The machine? Harmless. No matter what Trudy says. 
She thinks it's hiding something, but I think it's just a broken down relic with no place to be. All right. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around. Thanks for the info, ECP. Around here, like the schoolhouse, critters move in there sometimes. Okay, so we need to go in here. Yeah. We gotta talk to this guy. Or oh. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. Doc Mitchell said you could teach me how to survive in the missile. Or in the desert. Need to get the prim. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Let's learn. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Oh, you gotta teach me how to shoot? Uh, uh, whoops. I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. Get out of there. Oh, it's a fast reload. What a good dog. What a good boy. Oh, yeah, you good doggo. Okay, wait, it's a girl. Sorry. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles she, the she's a good there? girl. Take this oh. and try to hit a couple of them. I like how we're shooting at the the bar. That doesn't seem very safe. You just shoot at 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 your residence. That's the right idea. Look down the site. Try crashing down and staying still. It'll help your next shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what, I gotta go chase geckos away from my water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. I'm a good shot. Why don't you come along. I'm in. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast of short ways. Let's go. Tutorial time. I don't want this weapon though. Is there a quick quick weapon? Is that in this or not? I don't think it is. That's okay. Let's see if there's a button for it, though. Just to be sure. Maybe there's a quick... Uh, ready to reload. Auto run. Auto move. That's... Quick save. Ammo, ammo swap. Grab. Nope. So I guess you're just stuck with the gun and you gotta pull up the menu. It's okay. Makes sense. It's an older game. They don't have them quick, quick options. It's all good. We're gonna we're gonna do good with this pistol. Oh wait, this is the good pistol. Um, varmint rifle. Feathered pistol. Yeah. Is that right? What was I thinking? Right? Was this one weaker? Damage, 17. Damage, oh, DPS. Oh, man, maybe the 9mm is the weak one that I start with. Whoops. Alright, we have, uh... We haven't started. We haven't killed anything yet. Let's go, Sunny. Cheyenne. Time to put in some work. We gotta kill some geckos. Was that a gecko? Um, Cheyenne, where are you at? Hear that up on the ridge behind me? There, we got some geckos to clear out. I did Bunch hear of little it. Little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Okay. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, I see you walking around. That little guy. Okay, you're on. Go give him hell. Give him hell. Oh, 
Well, I gave him something. Give me that gecko meat. It's clean water. Nice. Oh, Vance is V. Okay. Okay. Now that I know, we can use Vance. See? You're getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Done, done. let's go. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with... Come with me. Kill some geckos. Oh, you got a bunch of ammo? What, over this way? Is that where we're going? Aha, you little varmin! Welcome to the Vault Tech Assisted Targeting System, or VATS VATS. Displays the chance you will hit along with the condition of each body part. Mouse 1, attack your target. Mouse 2, cancel. E, accept your actions. Left click on the left or right arrows to switch it to a new target. The number of attacks you can make is limited by your action points. Oh, it stops completely. In 4, it just, like, keeps moving. So if I blast this thing, I can go boom, boom, boom. Oh, baby, okay. I like it. Get out of here, you little varmint. Nice. Oh, it's Mr. Robot Man. What are you doing out here? Hi, Victor. Uh, um, where'd she go? Here you go this way? She disappeared on me. Oh, she's just moving quick. Her and Cheyenne. Quick kill them all. I want to kill them. Freaking rude. Oh, there's a... There's a freaking lady down here. I love the bats. It, it feels so good. I love it. The slow-mo kill feels so good. Alright. Was that it? Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. Alright. I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land. And making useful things for yourself. Interested? Sure. Might right, as well. Then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Might as well. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. Okay. Cool. We're gonna learn how to make food. That's kind of cool. Um. Where, oh, where is, do we have a map? Ah. So there and there. Where am I? Okay, so I gotta go backwards. I say that. Here like you done. I'd be a goner for sure. I use holy moly all the time. Water, but here, you should have what I got. You look thirsty. Oh, thanks. You've established a reputation with a group of people in the wasteland. Whether the, that reputation is good or bad, you're finally somebody. And people associated with the group will start to react to what you've done. There are many different factions in the Wasteland, and you can develop a distinct reputation with each one. As you perform actions that benefit a group, you will gain fame. If you perform actions that harm a group, you will gain infamy. 
Your reputation with any given group is a measure of the combined total of fame and infamy that you have earned. The benefits and drawbacks of any given reputation depends on the group itself. You may receive discounts with merchants, promote attacks from hired thugs, or simply be treated differently. Okay. Is the graveyard up this way? You know, so far this game's not bad. We're not that far in, obviously. I mean, we just started, but... The combat feels like the same similar field as uh as Fallout 4. I mean, 4 was a little smoother just because it's a newer game, but feels rel relatively similar and good. Oh, what do we got up there? Oh, skeever? <laughs> got a skeever up here? Can we jump? Is this like Skyrim? Can we climb any wall? Oh, a little coyote? That makes me kind of sad shooting this thing. Before you venture deeper into the wasteland, you may revise your name. I'm not changing my name. Can we be friends? No! It's not cool, man. I wanted to be your friend. Okay, I'm gonna have to get used to... Um, oops. E being my exit button. Used to just being able to push escape. Um, where is the graveyard? Is that the graveyard? Gotta be, right? Because it was, it was the thing up on the hill, well, that's where we were getting buried, so... I would assume... What in God's name is that thing blasting? Freaking chill out, my guy! Uh-oh. Float flies? Yep. Well... Come on then, you ugly bugs. Holy crap. Yep, they're just as annoying as they were in uh, 4. Tiny, and they don't die. Um, you need a shovel to dig here. Okay. Snow globe. You found a limited edition Mojave landmark snow globe. These rare pre-war artifacts are widely considered to be useless baubles. But rumor has it, some collectors will pay dearly for them. Get out of here, you frickin' bug. Oh, baby. That's what I like to see. Yeah, snipe that bug. I'm losing my ammo on this freaking fly. Nice. Okay, well, we're probably going to have to use that 10 millimeter one. Hey, look, it's where we were buried. Um, did we get what we came for? Yes. Find 
Xander Brockflower and Xander Root. Did we find Brockflower? I don't think we did. Is it? Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, we got it. Now we just have to go back to the, the schoolyard. This is what I was shooting, a frickin' scorpion. Oops. Okay. Schoolyard, schoolyard, schoolyard. Is the schoolyard? Doesn't look like it. This just looks like a crummy old house. This also looks like a crummy old house. Metal box, cue ball, knife. Okay. Sensor module. I wonder how much, um, how much, uh, like that stuff is going to be important for like repairing and whatnot. Workbench. Ah, see, this is important. Recycling energy cell. You can make a ton of stuff. Rock flower, leather belt, duct tape. Yeah, see? We needed a bunch of this stuff. That's good. You can make a, a bunch of cool stuff. Recycling energy cell. Hmm. The workbench could be good. Reloading. Breakdown. Only garbage. Do I know what that was? Absolutely not. We got an achievement for it, though. That is the good general good store. Where's the school? Over this way? Aha, I bet it's that one. It looks like a school. That looks like a school. the only house that's not like completely beaten down oh there's little bugs in here freaking praying mantis ah item ah take that so we're going to probably sell those weapons that are like kind of broken because I don't want to use them. I don't want to be, I want an authentic playthrough. So, you know, it's cool that they give you it because, you know, it makes sense, but I don't want to, I don't want to be busted right at the beginning. Yeah, Die, little bugs. Ha-ha! <laughs> I'm a machine! Okay, is there anything in here? Programmer's Digest. Bunch of empty lockers. Ooh. Safe. WASD. Apply torque to, with the screwdriver. Rotate bobby pin. Force lock. When torque is applied, the closer the bobby pin is to the correct position or sweet spot, the more the lock will rotate before the bobby pin breaks. Only when the bobby pin is in the correct position will the lock rotate fully and open. You can also try to open a lock by forcing it. But if you fail, the lock will permanently be broken and can only be opened with a key. So it's it's just like Skyrim. Which is nice. 
Super stem pack. Good stuff. Oh, wonder glue. That's for crafting. Bobby pins. Always good. Always good to have. Metal box. What do we got? A, a Braxo cleaner. So the, the horrible thing about games like this is I just want to take everything. I mean, all of it. I am the worst kind of hoarder when it comes to these games. I think it's it's gonna be outside, yeah? It's it's um some kind of thing we have to harvest, so it's gotta be out here. Jalapenos. Yo, that makes me want to make jalapeno poppers. Those are tasty. I did that one time with some friends. And they were like the hottest jalapenos in the world. But I didn't know that until we until we ate them, and only me and one other friend were able to even eat them because they were they were like um they were like habanero hot for a jalapeno. I was just like, well, oh well. They were tasty. They were damn good, damn good. But uh, no one could eat them except for me and this one other friend. Where is this thing that we're freaking looking for? Do we gotta use this, uh, terminal? Broken terminal. Okay, so it's not doing anything. Um. Mantis egg. Let's see, what, what were we looking for again? Data. Quests. Xander root. It's gotta be outside. Maybe I'm just a, a blind ding-dong. Yeah? There were jalapenos. I saw those. She said it was near the school. I don't see any Xander root. Is it in the school? feeling like a fool. I wonder if it's inside. And I just missed it. None of these lockers have it. That didn't have it. Salesman Weekly. That just takes me out again. Yeah, am I just blind? HP. Where's the water thing? So we need 
We have jalapeno peppers. And we also have the broth flour. Now I'm just feeling like a fool. This is going to be the easiest thing to find, and I just walk right past it. Don't tell me it's this. Oh my gosh. I knew it. I was going to be a ding dong. Well, you know, we found it. Uh, let's go back. She's somewhere over this way. I wonder if you can set up quick key binds or something for weapons. That'd be nice. Maybe there's, I mean, there's probably um, add-ons and stuff you can use. Um, let's just use this. Oh wait, we don't have any ammo for that. We have ammo for this though. Or do we need to use the vermin one? Should we use the vermin one? Probably just because if this is the cheap one, we're cheating. Let's use the varmint rifle. We can't be cheating. We just started. We can't be cheating. Oh, where you at, Sonny? We got some cooking to do. Doo -doo -doo. Where are you? Uh huh. You're way down here. Holy crap. I don't like that. It's creepy. I think that's one of the creepiest things about these games is it's all like that old oldies radio music all over the place and it kind of just bothers me like it's like when I played bio when I played through Bioshock and stuff and it's just all that creepy sounding like for some reason that music to me is just really creepy. Let me see what you got. I yeah, think it's because they use it in all these, like, desolated right, games. We're going to be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. Campfire. Healing powder. Plus one HP over 18 seconds. Minus one perception. Hey, that's not bad, see? Okay. All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a camp. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. All right. Let's head back to the bar. <gasps> Come on. Jump, Crimson. Jump. Nice. Parkour. Frickin' parkour. Head back to the bar. Man, we are feeling good. Well, that was a cool little, uh, little way to, good way to intro, like, simple things about the game. I like that. We didn't have to do that, but. Nice way to get our feet wet, I guess. I like it. And then we'll, uh. Figure out what the next quest is when we talk to Trudy. Right? That was her name? I'm bad with names. 
it's bad enough for me learning people that I meet in real life's names. So video games is a whole nother story. White horse nettle. Okay, some more flowers. There's the Prospector Saloon. Good Springs General Store. You know, we should probably sell all of our, our stuff, like I said, but maybe we'll do that another time. This is probably going to be the stopping point for the first one. We did our uh, trial. That was pretty good. Um, so that, yeah, let me go ahead and save. New save. Sweet. Like I said, that's going to be the, the end of the first episode. Thank you so much. Hope you had a good time. We'll continue, uh, next week. Uh, I'm going to try and put out an episode every week and uh, we'll keep going. That, well, that was a good intro, though. I liked it. I'm excited to keep going. It's uh, it's feeling good. Feeling pretty similar to what Fallout 4 was, but uh, hopefully the story's a little bit better like everyone's told me. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe uh, if you have not and you're enjoying what you're watching. Uh, like I said, we'll be trying to put one out every single week. So thank you and have a good one. Thank you.